Okay. Ready oh, to collect is, your rubido? <laughs> this is extract. Oh, it's chaotic. We are pulling YouTubers out of the ground. Um, rubido. Okay. What's cryotic? What are we talking? What are you talking about? Uh, for extraction missions, we're pulling out cryotic. Did you just have a stroke? No, that's the resource we're pulling out of the ground. That's concerning. Yes. <laughs> What's this about you giving cryotic a tug? I mean, more than just a tug. We're pulling out hundreds of him from the ground. The reason why nobody knows who or what Cryotic uh, looks like is he's because... he's in the core of the planet. He's the Earth's mantle. Yeah, and there's thousands of him. And we use him to make guns. The Orican Archive has led us to this location. Defend the extractors until you find an Arkling part blueprint. Fast forward time. Go to the dig site. I'm stuck on a rock. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. Yes. There's literally a personal problem because it is on my person. <laughs> Oops, went the wrong way. Go up, not down. Yeah, I meant to go up and I fell. Oh, hey, here it is. Platforming mistakes, it was tragic. Excavator deployed. Protect the unit from an extraction. I live up here now. Sweet camera ankle, bro. Wow, it is spelled almost perfectly like his name. Yeah. There's no A, but, I mean, whatever. Yeah. Close, though. It's Very. so amusing to me that you can sprint on a uh, line, and it'll give you the actual, like, ninja run the whole time. Oh, yeah. Also, like, bugs out weird sometimes. When you're That's just because you're space ninjaing too hard at that moment. How could you? Yes. I mean... You don't like understand what you're something. doing to the radical nature of the universe. <laughs> oh, hey. This actually has uh, rubber dubs as a drop. I guess we're on Earth, so go figure. <laughs> Infinite wall sliding! I don't think we need rubber dubs that bad, though. I'm never leaving this wall. It's my new home. Alright, see you I'll later. I'll slide forever. It's okay, I've already got the anti fun. Um, I have the anti fun <laughs> maneuver turned on. The anti fun maneuver? Uh, so I'm playing as Ember. Uh, if you build her right, uh, on low-level missions, she's kind of... I'm gonna say boring. Um... She definitely does kind of take take the fun out of things. I just wanted to use her for one mission. Um, oh, so could I'd, you? I just have a giant AoE burning effect. Uh, I haven't fired my gun yet. I might have fired it once. Spending a, I'm actually spending a lot of time getting stuck in walls so far. During this mission. Not sure why. Alright. Now we go down the pipe. <laughs> Having fun? Oh, I found a special, really special animation to wander. Oh? What'd you do? <laughs> I'm trying to try to catch up with you. Use your speed boost. Yeah. Although I think that affects you too, in my pursuit. Uh. That's a good point. Well, I mean, if you're too far away from me, I don't get it. And yeah, but the, when the goal is to catch you. Well, but it's like it's I an want, aura. Look how, I'm, look how I'm holding the power cell, Wander. Go to the dig site. Oh no! Ah, oh, I've used it. Shit. It did kind of look like you're just smacking your wrist repeatedly. You ruined me. Well, yeah, I okay. went into my melee, my my melee stance, and uh, while I was in my melee stance, he was just running around with his arm in front of him the way he does normally when he's holding the glaive in, in his right arm and his left arm's like waving in front of him like he runs. Yeah. And it was just yeah. completely agnostic to the fact that there was a power cell in it that was this giant glowing canister, so it was just flailing around like crazy. It does look pretty doofy. Okay. Murder. There we go. Unfortunately, my, like, super ability drops off in usefulness as soon as we hit, uh... I wanna say enemies getting up into the level 40s, and then it's, like, the least useful character in the game. One of them. Oberon being the least useful. So you've, so you've got, a, you got a brief window to try to just prove it's... Just to have it be useful for this one little moment, so you don't feel like you ha you're wasting its slot. Uh, no, I don't mind it too much. Uh, we can do derelict defense and I'll get all the kills. 
I electrocuted all the dogs. I'm not a monster. Yeah, that could actually be kind of, kind of fun someday. Alright, I'm out of power. Oh, the murdering will do. The places will go. Dogs will kill. <laughs> oh, hey, we're done. Let's leave. Fine. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna get this way. <laughs> that guy thinks he can snipe us. It's adorable. He thinks he can get things done. Oh, wonder I got a power cell again. <laughs> uh, do you need it? No. Put it no, down. The animation. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, so do I. <laughs> Fucking great though. It's so it, dumb. It does look pretty weird. And the character very has broken. no idea how to, how to hold this device. They just hold it at the end of their hand, regardless of waiting. Because <laughs> they default to an animation where you're holding it straight down, like it's really heavy. Oh and yeah. Switch this animation. We're like, oh fuck it. It doesn't matter anymore. It's just stuck to my hand like a character model. <laughs> uh oh. It's like when you're playing World of Warcraft and you have your your normal weapon animations. And then you start doing emotes while you're holding your weapons, and the weapons just start, like, phasing through things and doing all the wrong animations. Yeah. Start clapping with swords in your hands. <laughs> oh, it's a Kubro mod. Never actually gotten a Kubro mod before. Uh, I think I've gotten a couple of them, come to think of it. Mostly useless. Oh, yeah. Link armor. I, th I haven't had a, had a Kubro yet, so... Yeah, you might actually have the resources for it now, but for the most part, eh. Yeah, they're not really useful. The problem with Kubros is they uh, they decay over time. Like they stop being, uh, they they die on you effectively. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's kind of frustrating. So um, that's depressing. I don't need that in my life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th there are ways of like slowing it down and whatnot, but um. <laughs> you want to get reminded about how short uh, pet lives are? You can simulate it in Warframe. By the way, it's like four days. You can pay money to extend it, like, indefinitely, but still pain in the butt and I don't feel like dealing with it. It's four days? Yes. Like, just in general? Uh-huh. What? Hope you love your doggy. That's horrible. Uh-huh. Just dies every four days? Yes. You can get reminded of mortality twice a week. Ha-ha! <laughs> Yeah, I can afford a heat sword if I want to make one. There you go. Will feed the fire. Oh yeah, there's my harness. Might as well build that. Oh fuck, really? Oh, that sucks. So next thing is the the Eldenata systems. There you go. I think uh, I have enough resources where I could just justify building a heat sword and it having no impact on anything else I do. Yeah, that happens frequently. I want to know. Are neural sensors common? Uh, no. Sort of. They're easy to farm because you just go punch one boss in the face over and over again. Yeah. But. Did you hear that? That's the closest thing it has to being uh, a, require, um, a drain. Yeah. Is that it'll use one of my five? It's not. I, it's fine. If we if we need to go get more, we can just go punch Alad V in the yeah. face. It takes like it's no... just fun to have more items. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the team, Heat Sword. Eventually, you're gonna run into slot issues, so you're gonna have to sell them. You're just, gonna go I think solder you guys in half. Oh, oh right, you can only have an X number of items, huh? It's okay. Oh, uh, the way you raise your mastery rank is by leveling weapons. So even if it's crap, once you get it to max, you can just sell it for money. Yeah, but I, that seems. It sucks. In a game where where the, such a big part of it is these long grinds to getting the resources to then wait 12 hours to make a weapon, and then it being told that you can't keep all the ones you make is kind of infuriating. The trick is to make a ton of them all at once and not give any shit about them because you've already got your favorite weapons, and then you just move on from there. It's easy enough. Uh, you want to queue up the next one? Because I can't. Okay, Venus. The E gate. More extraction. What? Um. 
Is it more extraction? Yeah. Got a little distracted for a second there because it, it uh, gave me a pop about there being multiple missions available. I've actually specified that I'm doing the uh, story one. That was the first time I've seen that screen. Unfortunately, a lot of these quests introduce like the new game types, and like they're originally designed to introduce the name new game types. So from a story perspective, they feel a little drab just because it's like, oh, it's just do the same mission type like four times now. Yay. Is that that different from normal though? Um, I guess not. I'd rather just have like um, you know. Each quest is, like, one or two, like, specifically designed, you know, very plot-focused games with dialogue and whatnot. Defend the extractors until you find an Arcwing part blueprint. Because the alternative is the just... Go to the dig site. I don't know. I mean, the alternative is just me about this. listening to their prayers, and I have no idea what they're talking about. What? Whoops. Your chat I don't know, they're like, please listen to my prayers, and I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck. I don't know what he said. What's going on? I don't know. I That is weird. My he chat told is... me to keep it PG, and keep it implies that it was started PG, which is, ne I've never, I've never used PG language in anything that I've done. I get a lot of people so, asking. No. <laughs> I get a lot of people asking me to stop using bad words, and I'm like, I try, I try hard, but I'm not going to go like, why? No, I don't, I don't try at all. I don't know, I feel a little guilty, especially because I know an amount of my audience is younger now. Oh, because of Scrap Mechanic. Yeah. At the same yeah. time. Eh. I was... I just... I don't know, I just don't like when people try to, like, push their... their way of doing things on other people. It always feels weird. So apparently, uh, Shell, Shell's like, family had shown my YouTube channel, or I think one of our streams, to, uh, a family friend. And their kid was like, I could do better than that. And it's like, th thank you. <laughs> that's the whole, that's all, that's what the whole YouTube does. That's the entire basis of, uh, of r slash let's play is, is, is thousands of people thinking I could do that. And then having a terrible experience because they realize all the work involved. It is. And they, then they feel silly. Though right now, since I'm doing so with the, only two going series. Bad, right? Yeah. What? We, we grab cells. Yeah, well, we don't need any more power. Fill it back up. We're good on power for the time being. Is it? You know, oh, because every second takes one percent. It doesn't. Yeah. It? Yep. Oh yeah, so we were already above it. It's it fine. doesn't matter that much. It's just I I I've always grown up in a setting where, like, like people would get mad if I swore when I was like thirteen. <laughs> like that was like it's been a long time. My parents. But I've grown do... up in a rat, completely surrounded by people that are completely, completely unfazed by all real language. Really. <laughs> My parents don't like swearing. They've definitely asked. But me it, ha it has zero impact until I go online, swearing. and then suddenly people from like Michigan are mad at me for the way I speak, and I'm like, that's, that's. I mean, that's that's why aren't we online to encounter other people and not make them like us? I don't know. We. It always feels weird to me. Especially when they don't seem to be shielding children or anything, it's just they personally freak out about swearing. I'm like, how did that happen? Sometimes when they're like 10, I can kind of understand it. I remember when I was um, playing StarCraft 1 for the first time, I specifically uh, would uh, host lobbies with like no swearing or whatever. Because I was freaking like 12. No, I wasn't even 12, yeah. I was like 8. And I was just like, no swearing! And we would show up and start swearing. <laughs> Realistically, oh, yeah. Ch children that are told they can't swear every day freak out when they hear somebody else swear, and they think that those people are getting one up on them. So they they feel like they have to even the scale and enforce their parents' rules on the internet. For me, I just didn't want to hear swears. I wasn't even. That's always amazing. My rules. It's also like the the, ch the the kids that like self censor, like they'll yeah. type and then they'll asterisk themselves. It's like just don't say the word if you don't want to. Yeah, if, if you if you don't want to say it, then don't say it. That's it's easier. You don't have to like. Fake say it and then asterisk it out like you're censoring yourself. Has been located. Proceed to the dig site. It's all weird. I am a ways back, aren't I? I got distracted trying to murder everybody again. Yeah, in in infested are particularly fun uh, to murder because they just kind of go splat. There we go. Hot up. Murder. 
Oh, you're not here. Oh, well, yeah, I am. You're not? Wait, where? Oh, shit. I don't see you. I'm just gonna play hide and seek with you until you find out where I am. Oh, you're on top of it, okay. <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take you. It's a nice little vantage point to just shoot things that with is, a shotgun. Well, I mean, it is perfectly spaced to be above the viewpoint of a of a uh, window in this game. Uh, I guess. Like st standing on top of that is perfectly above the actual field of view of the uh, of the game. Oh wow! I need to use this thing more often. Come we on should... and slam! <laughs> we should just do a survival mission so I can just use my orthos. This thing is. Spinning. Great. I mean, I've always known that it's awesome, but this is like... It's the spinniest of winniest. Yeah. I want to try Lesion because I heard it was pretty spinny too, but I haven't gotten the chance because it requires plastids and those are painfully rare. For a oh yeah, I think I have at least one resource. item we're still wait that's currently waiting on those. Yeah, so we don't get good amounts of plastids until we hit uh, Uranus. Which kind of sucks. Let's see. Dig complete. Your hard work has just been rewarded. That's it. You found an Arkwing park. All right, we're done. Head to extraction when you are ready. I guess head for the exit if you want. Oh wait, that you made is... a declaration about how a resource works in the game. Now it's time for people to tell you how wrong you are. I mean, comparatively, <laughs> if all of the, like, base starting, uh, all of all of the, like, regular resources, the, like, non-rare ones, it is, I think, the rarest. I remember this These building. are awful. Definitely encountered this one early on. The vent that goes up. Why am I taking this away, though? Why, why am I doing this to myself? Just jump on top. Go. Jump on top. Oops. We're not working on that. We're just leaving. No. Why? Because if we want to do this again, I'm bringing you to Herocon. Herocon? What? Herocon. It's uh, it's a section on Pluto. Same thing, oh. but way more enemies. It just sounds like the last bastion of people who still read comic book versions of superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the trade back. Because, yeah, it's the same tile set, but it's like, how do you like, like, 50 enemies at a time? Excavator destroyed. Protect the remaining dig sites. Okay. How do you, so how do you decide when you're left? I guess, I guess it does say Krautic remaining zero, huh? Yep. So at that, that point, uh, there's nothing left to do. I was just li listening to Lotus. Uh, she said, you, that's it, you found the part or the blueprint or whatever. Um... Don't do and us wrong, was, Lotus. <laughs> and that was a good enough indication for me to be like, all right, time to go. I am ah. super hungry Those speed today. changes are doing my brain in. There we go. I am probably not going to make it. I don't That's know. Okay. I have no concept of how big this level is. It's not like it matters. Um, I might be there now. Oh, no, I'm not there. <laughs> It's so taunting how your waypoint keeps teleporting away from me every time I approach it. <laughs> I mean, you're really close. You might actually make it. <laughs> not, again, not like it matters, but... Yeah, but it's a pride thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Keith, you want to actually weigh in here as to what you want to do? Sorry, I was, I was just being baffled by something in chat. <laughs> um... So we can do, uh... We're, at, we're basically out of quest stuff, aren't we, until that stuff gets built? We Well, yeah, until until you the... build that stuff, we can't finish the Arcwing chain. Um, and then, I think until we get to Uranus, you can't get, uh, you can't progress to Second Dream. However, we could just cheat and go to Uranus anyway, uh, if you wanted to do that. Because I've got Uranus unlocked, and we could just skip the progression and then come back with the full group or something. There's really nothing, somebody, nothing to do right now. Weird. Uh, I mean, there's plenty of things to do. It's just a matter of what do you want to do. So no, we... I mean, like I was scrolling through my quests and it yep. just looks so full of stuff, and then I click on them and it's like, nope. Yeah, it's just all finished, but we're, they're just not going to go anywhere. 
Oh, you're in the uh, you're in the quest section of the codex. If you want to see the active quest, you have to go to navigation. Um, here, how about how about let's go with this? I figure one of the smart things to do is just try to keep filling in the map, right? Okay, yeah. So let's let's. More, let's... The more map I have unlocked, the more versatility I have to go get. Uh, Actually, clear vote. Specific uh, stuff from from alerts and things like that. Yeah. Do you want to do um? How far how far have we gotten in uh, Jupiter? Because I've got all the nodes in Jupiter, save for one. But we can't do that one until you get your your space wings. Um. So far in Jupiter, I've only made it to Thebe. Thebe. Uh, have you done Thebe or Thebe is the Thebe is probably the last one. Okay. Uh, it's the last one I see. Okay. Fine by me. I assume that's how it works, is that... Yeah. I don't know. I if, actually if don't it's... know how mi unlocking missions works yet. If it's got a bit of a staticky background to it, it means you haven't done it yet, which means you do it. Yeah, I, could, I didn't see anything different about it. I just saw that everything to the right of it's, it's still blocked out. Yeah, it's honestly kind of vague. Luckily, for the most part, it doesn't matter. But still... Okay, this is a deception mission. I believe we're just target is the system mainframe. Yeah, we're just hacking a thing and leaving. This is real fast. Yeah, part of the reason why I don't like stick around and wait for uh, a lot of the missions we're and like killing here. people no is it just it doesn't matter. Uh, and we have so many of these missions, it's easier to just blitz through. Am them. I trying to fall down this chute? I guess yeah, I am. Yeah, you do. I was like, what the hell is that? I'm just looking in every direction. There's just nowhere to go. <laughs> like I'm missing something here. <laughs> Uh, we have. Well, I guess I was spotted and wasn't being particularly aggressive. Oh, that's. Didn't you sprint through the middle of the area? Straight up lava. I killed a lot of people, but I guess somebody was looking at me. Was it one of the people you killed? Uh, you stare into his dying eyes. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, we're done. Uh, head for the exit. Jesus Christ. Deception like missions a mission. are. Yeah. They're very fast. You don't get much of a reward, but, I mean, we're done, so easy enough. Yep, Let's see. unlocks the next mission at least, right? Yep. Let's see, will we cover this game as it expands through the years? I probably will, just because I enjoy this it game. It already has expanded through the years. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> like, four years old now, I think? Uh, yes. It's been oh, around... Oh, we both use these doors. Yep. I was trying to hack the door, but I didn't realize it was a co-op door. Press the button. The Press the button, Kronk. <laughs> There's a Kronk. Fuck, fuck the pain away. Okay. That was an endearing movie that I remembered nothing from. What? Emperor's New Clothes. Where's this coming from? Press the button. Something... Oh. Uh, it's, I mean, technically I think it's supposed to be throw the lever, but whatever. <laughs> Have you never seen Emperor's New Clothes? Uh, Emperor's well, I mean, New Groove, my bad. It's both like a super, it's a super innocuous quote that doesn't specifically evoke anything. I said anything Krunk! Because, well, I didn't hear Krunk, and I just heard press the, press the button. I'm like, that's the most, that's just such a neutral quote that doesn't have to be from anything. <laughs> like, remember that one movie where they said, go, go, go! <laughs> yes. Fondly. <laughs> yes. All of them. <laughs> Boom! Up, oh, I went in a circle. Keep thinking I'm on the wrong floor, and I'm usually right. But then I try to change floors, and it's still the wrong one. Oh, uh, you want to come up here, by the way? I'm coming. These guys are not happy with you. Thankfully, I'm here to murder them. Yeah. There we go. There were uh, neural sensors. Neural sensors are nice. Um, You're gonna need a lot of them. Did I just walk into a dead end? I think I did. Uh, you gotta leap up. It's... it's... Actually, no, there is a set of stairs. I just always jump it. Used to this... getting used to this level at this point? Yeah. I actually have, like, very little experience with the Jupiter tile set, surprisingly enough. 
Anyway, kind of feels like wanna... Bespin. Yeah, it is obviously inspired by Bespin. But there I mean, be some... or more more accurately, Bespin's inspired by Jupiter. <laughs> it's true. This big, right. this, this big gold-ish colored uh, gas planet where they're like, well, I guess everything has to float here. Excellent yep. Work, so there's some extra uh, neural sensors for you. They're not the rarest thing in the world, but you don't... Uh... Well, I guess I should change my pistol to something else so that I can level that up. Because my vandal's maxed out. That I don't use <laughs> until I get downed. <laughs> 